Cancer is as old as human life itself. The first known written reference to cancer appears in a 15-foot papyrus prepared by an Egyptian physician 4,000 years ago. He numbered all the diseases and their treatments known to the ancient world. Case number 45 refers to swellings of the breast, large, spreading, and hard. Under the section titled Treatment, it reads simply, there is none. The main impetus for, for making the book and the documentary um, was, was to sort of give us a, a, a road map of where we are and where we're going with cancer research. I'd like to describe the documentary as a kind of report card on cancer. Um, uh, and it's, it's not just documentary, it's, I think of it as news in some ways. You know, in our long and complex struggle against uh, this family of diseases called cancer, we've really not had a report card. We haven't had a, a, a time in which we've sort of taken a step back and said, let's create a way to think about what's been achieved, what, what, the, what the challenges are, what the next steps are, in a very global sense, all the way from the basic science to the delivery of uh, extremely complex, uh, new, innovative cancer care to patients. We have an incredible series of resources here at Columbia that are really unmatched uh, around the world. Um, on one hand, we have a, a, a community hospital where patients really come off uh, uh, the large uh, community that we have uh, around the campus, but also we have a, a, a really a state-of-the-art academic medical center where the capacity to collaborate with uh, leaders in the field of lymphoma, um, in the field of leukemia, in the biology of multiple diseases, uh, multiple forms of cancer is really unmatched. There's not one kind of cancer, but there are many kinds of cancers. Um, and that even within, let's say, a, a particular specimen of, of you know, let's say, just take breast cancer, or even take HER2 positive breast cancer, one woman's breast cancer in a genetic sense is different from another woman's breast cancer, even though they might share some common features. So one of the large projects that's going on right now is a project of determining to what extent do different cancers share common features and to what extent are they really different. Cancer is not a disease which is a, just a cell in isolation, but in fact has a physiological context. And to understand cancer, uh, you need to understand its physiological context, which means collaborating with people who no, don't necessarily work on cancer. And to treat cancer, you need similarly a collaborative context in which you are asking for help from people in kidney diseases, from people who, from doctors who take care of bone diseases, from doctors who are in the neurological center. So I think this, is, this kind of collaboration is very unique um, and it, it really plays to the strengths of the departments. You can imagine an end to cancer. Um, and the answer is probably no, but a, a, a thoughtful no. Um, I think we'll prevent some cancers, we will treat some cancers, we will cure some other cancers, and some will remain challenges. And the diversity um, of our approach to the diversity of cancer will reflect the complex biology of this disease.